I told her that we don't have that kind of service. Oh, so you already told her this? I said she called me, yeah. It's DK and I'm back again. If you want to earn your chance to win some of this $1,000, make sure you smash the subscribe button. I'm telling you this right now. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, we will be giving away $1,000. $1,000. And in order to earn your chance to win, you must be subscribed. Last time I gave away $600 when we was at 50,000 subscribers. So, hey, if you want your chance to win some of them dividends, make sure you smash the subscribe button. But it's time for us to get busy, and I'm glad you guys are with me. Order number one and two is coming from the same store on Roadie 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 with a Dabber Ranch. It is the Roadie app. Now, we are picking up two orders from Home Depot. Order number one is six items, six miles for forty-six seventy-four. We're about to run up this dough. Order number two is two items, ten miles for forty-nine twenty-seven. Don't forget to thank the Lord for your blessing. We're about to get this money when you're stressing. Let's go. Good morning, Home Depot. We are here to get this money, baby. We trying to get this money. Understand me. Understand me. I have two roadie orders to pick up. Um, the first one is WG6325058. Y'all see what's going on. We out here getting it on. I know my nickname wrong. We got these rugs. We gon' fly. Fly some rugs in there. I got another one. Another. Then we got that short joint. We gonna put these right here. Ah! Then we gonna go back and get this other order. We out here getting the order. Let's get it. And the second one? The second one is H1927297. How you doing, boss? Good. I'm living a dream. I woke up this morning. I can't complain. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna put this in my hair so it doesn't move. Sorry about that weight, guys. No problem. You, know you have a great one, sir. Put this right here. What? Put this right here. Bye -bye. And just like that, y'all saw me use the bungee. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can get this money. Let's go. Now that we got those in the van, it's time for us to pull up and get some more vans. We are doing another order on Roadie 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 with a Dabber Ranch. We are going to a second Home Depot store. We are picking up one item that weighs 96 pounds. We're going to drive four miles for 22 47 we gonna keep on getting this money we ain't resting let's go store number two we hear what it do we're here to pick up this toilet baby they got a pocket for 22 dollars this is it right here how you doing i'm here to pick up this roadie order right here gannon all right appreciate you boss huh can you see the paperwork on there i'm good to go thank you you guys have a good one sit this joint right here slide slide it right there and then we're gonna put this bungee so we can pull up and get some more money. Put that right there, put that right there. Ugh. And just like that, it's time for us to pull up so we can get these bucks, let's go. Just like that, we are here to draw off this toilet when that money call, don't ignore it. Ugh. Put this one right here. Y'all already see what's going on. We are here getting it on, y'all know why Nick made it wrong. Now we gotta step back, get with the photo. Y'all already know though, smack. We got it. Stop number two is these rugs. You know I'm plugged like a socket. If y'all say, hey, please stop it. We're gonna sit this one right here, lean back. Get the other one. Sit this one right there. Y'all already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. Guess what we're here to do? Comment below and let me know again. Step back and on the photo. We go. And we about to pull up to get order number four. We love uh, running up this dough, baby. We got one item we're picking up from another Home Depot store. We're gonna drive seven miles for forty-seven thirty-eight. I love being great. Let's go. Store number three. We are here getting this cheese. We are here getting this cheese, baby. You did. Good morning. How you doing? I have a. Okay. Thank. You. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. A few moments later. What's the order number? Um, H 1981 29 97 41. Oh, okay. um, can you pull up by the canopy? Other side? Yeah. Okay. On the other side, by the canopy. Okay. And then they'll, they'll bring it out to you. Okay. All right, All right. thank Have you. Have a good day. You too. Let's go ahead and put the whole pallet in. Um, control. Yeah. Or maybe control. Don't lift that part up. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna slide it down. Go up. 
One strap, two straps. It's time for us to get to this money, no cap. Let's go. We are here to drop off this wood and nails. What's that smell? Money. We are here getting to this money. Oh, this, this, the other Home Depot jar would just drop off all this stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it right on top of here. What up? You did. Trip number two. What it do if you hate it? Forget you and your crew. Forget you and your crew if you hate it. I'll be seeing some of y'all hating in the comments section. Maybe it's all good. <coughs> we ain't complaining, we maintain it. We are here getting this change and gripping this grain and switching lanes. Step back in with the photo, you already know though, smack, we gone. We are here at the drop off and this one needs a signature. So if the customer don't answer though, guess where we going? <coughs> back to the stove, let's go. We're going back to the stove. So it's super early, what time is it? It is 7.42. So hopefully here, if not, it's over with, baby. Hello. How you doing? I'm here with your refrigerator from Home Depot. Mm, okay. okay. A few moments later. Huh? You don't have any helpers? No, I'm supposed to, it's a curbside delivery only. Hmm? It's a curbside delivery. I'm only supposed to drop it to the front door or the curb. No. Yes. How are we gonna put it in there? That's the, the, how I'm gonna put it in here? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just supposed to drop it off at the uh, front door or the curb. It's a curbside delivery. It's not an in-home delivery. Yeah, I just that I did do home delivery. Unfortunately, that's not what it says on the app. It's just, I can show you. I'm just supposed to drop it off on the curb, either at the, uh, the with you, receptionist, hand it to recipient, or with security, that's it. It's not a, it's not a, it doesn't go in the house. I don't bring it in the house, no. No, that's, that's what it, I don't know how, how we're I, gonna put it. I understand, if you want me to, I can take it back to the store. Maybe they have someone else deliver it, or I'm not sure, but I'm not supposed to take it in the house. I don't know how we're gonna put my husband. He has a back problem. I understand. I'm not supposed to bring it in the house, though. I don't know. What that, maybe you're gonna, if they're gonna take it back if it's like that. So I can, I can take it back. That's fine. Whatever you guys want to do is up to you. Are you gonna help us to put it in? No, I can't. I can't do that. No. Okay, listen. What company are you I'm, I'm an independent contractor. I don't work for a company. Okay, so let me tell you that. You're a friend. Let me tell you this. We are ABT bringing everything for here, okay? And maybe because he's this is, delivery, this, I, that's what he told yeah, listen, me. This is the first thing we hear in America. ABT brings it in, mm -hmm. puts it in, we give tips to the person, the company, and they go. Mm -hmm. If you cannot do it, you can take it back. I'll take it back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good one. <clears throat> Y'all see what's going on. Back to the stove we go. It's time for us to get some more dough. Let's go. We are back at the stove to get some more dough. We're here to spell again. Let me see. Where are we supposed to take this, John? I don't know if we're supposed to bring it over here or go to the other side. I'm back again. The oh, yeah. uh, the customer refused the item. She thought I was gonna bring it in the house. Yeah, she, I told her that we don't have that kind of service. Oh, so you already told her this? I said she called me, yeah. Did you bring it? Yeah, okay. so it's out here. So do you want me to bring it back over here or down there? Down there, can you, yeah, I have some yeah. copy unloaded. Okay. Yeah, I told her we don't have, that's a, stuff that we don't do as delivery. Right. Different service. Uh huh. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Leave right here. Yeah, I'll take yeah. it. To okay. I'll take it to the service desk. Okay. I need to uh, take a picture real quick, and I'm good to go. Why are you installing it? <laughs> she want me to bring it in the house and install it and everything. I'm like, we don't do that. She's like, <laughs> Let me, uh, I wish. If she did, I would. Hey, I would have took it in there. Step back and with the photo, y'all already know though. Smack! We gone. You guys have a good one. I know, I know, I know. Why didn't I take that refrigerator in the customer house? Absolutely not. I'm not doing it, baby. I'm not letting customers take me up top no more. Guess what? I understand that we could possibly could have, we possibly, keyword possibly, could have got a tip. The question is, how much the tip, how much was the tip gonna be? Was it gonna be five dollars, ten dollars, one dollar, twenty dollars? I'm quite sure it wasn't gonna be $47.38. So why not just take it back to the store and make more money? That's the reason why I did it. And plus the customer was trying to act like that. I was supposed to do this and she already let them know. And then when we get to the store, y'all heard what the lady who worked at uh, Home, Home Depot said. Y'all heard what she said. So, hey, do not let these customers continue to take you up top to the fifth floor like bro, man. I ain't going no more, baby. I told y'all as far as apps, customers, hey, anybody, anybody can get it. 
I'm not going no more. Now, I have a question for you. Would you or would you have not took the fridge in there? Would you have took it in there and hope for a tip? And if you wanted a tip, how much would you expect the customer to pay you? I want to ask you that question. Or would you have took it back to the store and got that money and never ignored? Comment below and let me know that y'all saw us go out there. Uh, let's go. How much dough do we make? We made $213.24. R.I.P. Kobe, she like to know me, baby. We out there and got busy, and I'm glad you guys are with me. Again, if you're not subscribed, now is your chance to smash the subscribe button because when we get to that 100,000 subscribers, we will be giving away over $1,000. Again, I said over $1,000. So if you want some of that money, make sure you subscribe, but it's time for us to slide. Before we go, let me say one more thing. Don't seize up! Don't seize up to the crew. You already know what we're here to do. We're here to get busy. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we fooling. You already know it, ZDK. And I'm on my way.